Hi guys, this is Roscoe0583 here, this time reviewing the Hot Toys Samurai Predator from the license Alien vs Predator. Now there's absolutely heaps to get through with this collectible, so I'm going to get straight to it. Alright, here we have a large cube shaped box, which we haven't seen before. Very large, very strong. It needs to be this strong because the contents are really heavy. Uh, when I first got it, it felt like it was holding a statue. So this collector was quite a heavy piece and it's really really nice and the box doesn't disappoint. As you can see it has like a sort of old paper look to it. You got a nice image of the Samurai Predator's helmet. Got all the sort of Asian or Japanese um, sort of writing or inscriptions around the box. Got that gold reflective um, text saying Samurai Predator, which looks really good. Down the bottom, you have the artists who designed and painted the piece or the original piece that Hot Toys mass produced. Uh, designed and painted by Takeyuki Takeya and sculpted by Yuji Oniki. It looks really cool. And on the top, have a nice artwork of an alien and a predator, like we see in the first Alien vs Predator film. Uh, however, this uh, figure was not in a film. Uh, it's the first of the Artist Concept series, or Artist Collect uh, Collection series. So it's something different, something new. I usually don't pick up concept figures, but um, having all the Hot Toys Predators already, I definitely wanted to continue with that trend and um, it's just an amazing looking looking piece which I couldn't pass up. So the outer box very nice overall. The patterning continues around and designs. See once again you've got the Samurai Predator on the side there and you've got like the lid as well. So once you open that up uh, you have two boxes. Now this one here is one that holds the base. The base is that huge um, it needed a box of its own. You got a nice concept art of the Samurai Predator on that. Love the colouring. Almost looks like the um, sort of treasure map in Pirates of the Caribbean. Got, got that old um, tarnished paper look to it. It's really, really nice. Obviously, these two boxes have a window on the back. Obviously, I'm not showing you that because the figure's already out. So you get to see that if you want to keep it mint in box or just have a quick look before you open it. But it's really good. And here we have the next box which holds the, um, the actual figure itself. Once again got a different kind of artwork there. And yeah this has the window on the back of it as well. So overall excellent packaging. I uh, couldn't have asked for more. It's great, something new, something different, um, and looks really good. Alright, accessories. Now the good thing about this uh, figure is that most of the accessories um, are being worn or used by the actual figure. There's not much left over, uh, which is what I like. Um, as you can see, you get a number of spare hands. Got five spares there. Got everything from fully clenched uh, fists. I've got one that's sort of slightly open there. Another one that's sort of a bit more open. And you have the relaxed hands. Now these are very detailed. You see all the different sort of highlights and blending. There's so many different tones going on just on the hands. So how Hot Toys have been able to uh, replicate what the artists have done, it's been very good, very well done. Hence the large price tag as well for this figure. Now that's a reason why I decided to wait. Usually with Hot Toys Predator figures I pick them up straight away because I'm a huge fan of uh, Anthony Predator. So um, I waited and saved $130. So I'm glad I did now but uh, the wait was quite painful. Seeing everyone else's reviews go up and how awesome it was. But it's worth in the end I was able to save some money to go towards other figures. Here we have the open mandibles, 
So I just like the other Predator figures we've got from Hot Toys. You have the same sort of clip on the back that slot in. They look really good. You get spare hand pegs. Now I'm quite surprised the size of those hand pegs. They're a lot larger than we've come to expect, as this figure is quite a large guy. And also you get your Hot Toys instruction sheet showing you how to assemble the base, the helmet, um, and a few other things that you need to put on the figure. Now the accessories that you get with the figure that I've already got assembled is this absolutely awesome base. I'm going to talk about this first. Now, as you can see, all the guts where he's cut the head off, all the bubbles like the acids sort of um, boiling. When this head actually has a section in here where you've got to click it or lock it into, and the blood down the bottom here sort of sits next to the blood on the base, so it looks like it's continued on. So it matches up really well. The spines here and here on both sides, you have to block them in as well. Now, I was a bit sort of weirded out by the um, purple colour, but it grew on me and I actually find it really, really nice. It's a good change of scenery, something different, uh, as I already have quite a few Hot Toys Alien figures and they're all black. It's good to see a change of colour. So, just look in there where he's cut the head off. Sort of got like a little gap there. You can see the skull or the skeleton throughout. You got that clear dome with the red and the green. So much detail just in this base. I don't know how they've been able to do something so detailed on a large scale. The sculptor has done an amazing job. So much happening in every little section. Just look at all that in there. The colour just reflects really nicely too. Looks like the alien's sort of burrowing out of the ground and he's just been slaughtered without even knowing. Absolutely awesome. Now you get a couple of swords as well. Uh, I've got the sword here on the ground. Like he's finished using it, it's been ruined, and he's just thrown it. Uh, it's got blood all over it. Same sort of stuff you can see in there. And that one's made out of plastic. You got a little shard that's built into the base here. Just look at that in the fingernails. Even that looks cool. Yeah, so uh, you also get another sword here, which I have slotted into his sort of sheath. Quite long. This one's non damaged, and that one's actually made of metal. So that's really cool. Now, the head for the alien, I have him holding. Now as you can see, it's purple, which I'm really happy about. The first batch that came um, out of Hong Kong was all purple, and it matched the base, like this one does here. Um, but then Hot Toys sent a batch to Sideshow, and uh, a lot of people, if not all, got a orange-brown head. Uh, which the paint up did look cool, but it looked like it was missing the purple. Um, not sure if it was deliberate or um, just a stuff up by Hot Toys, but I'm really glad I got a purple one because the orange one just doesn't look right. Holding it up um, away from the body, from a fresh kill being a different color, just looks totally wrong. Looks like it's off a different figure. So I'm glad I got a purple one. Uh, Hot Toys or Sideshow made up an excuse that the blood had drained out. Um, of the head, hence why it's a different colour, but I don't believe that for a second. Um, I think they're just trying to cover their butts there. But yeah, the, this is the third batch which I waited for here in Australia, and it's, I ring up um, Icon or Pop Culture Collectibles, who are the, who are the distributor for Hot Toys now, um, down here, and um, they said they're all purple. So, they currently say the orange brown one is normal, when the first and third batches were purple. So, really happy about that, but just look at the detail in there. All different colours. The mechanical, or biomechanical look in there. Looks awesome. You got the tongue, which he fits into that hand really nicely. 
All right, um, you have to put on the sword sheath, which has a strap, which has a clip on the back. I'm sure, if I can show you there. Yeah, sort of clip locks in a little section at the back. You have to put the plasma cannon on, and that sort of sits in like a little ball socket. You can move that around. Looks almost like a chest burster. The design, it's really cool. And the movement's pretty good in that. Yeah, so let's just have a quick look at this guy first before I get into the figure. It's absolutely awesome. I'm personally not a fan of things that aren't in films. Not usually into picking up concepts, but I could not knock this back. For me, I think this is going to be the figure of the year. For sure, without a doubt. Right, also you get this bundle of other swords or katanas. Now that red one there, you clip through like a horseshoe clip on the back. And they don't come out, they just stay in their sheaves as one piece. And I think that just about covers some of the, most accessories. You also got the pole here with the clamp. Fits into the base pretty good. And lastly, the helmet. I actually, when seeing original uh, pictures of this guy, um, I liked it without the helmet on, but now that I have it in person, I actually like the helmet on more. Um, not sure why, I think just the colour adds to the uh, sort of look of the figure. Gives it more of the samurai look as well. Now this top part here is magnetic, so it just unclicks. There. So you see the magnetic magnetic strip on the top. Got all that gross, slimy detail on the head. Love the red eyes that peek through the mask. This section here, the bottom of the helmet, uh, you have to sort of maneuver that and sort of lock it in underneath the head sculpt, these sort of spiked areas. Takes a little bit of effort just to sort of push it in. It almost feels like you're going to break it. Um, it goes on pretty good and you got this red section here which covers the mandibles I'll just see if I can get that off there we go there's the head sculpt guys sorry I can't take this off it needs um, requires a bit of time and two hands for that so I'll just show you what it looks like there absolutely awesome to me it resembles some sort of like a dog look to me just looking at the inner teeth, I think that's what uh, gives me that sort of idea. Now the movement in the neck is very good, as you can see in there, it can move down a fair way, and then it has a separate um, bit on top where you can twist it left and right on the neck post. So it has a separate neck post and then the head sculpt. Now we have the, um, the dreads. Got them like a plastic, not a rubber this time. They've got all like the coil sort of look to them. They look almost like worms with that pattern on it. There's just so much detail on this. I don't know where to, really where to keep going. Could talk for ages on it. Uh, you got the necklace sort of there. See his body. Doesn't have the netting on it like we see in most Predator figures. Got a little bit of it there. Now originally I think we all thought this was going to be a statue. And I was sort of pondering whether to get it or not, if it was really worth getting a statue, because I prefer figures. And I'm glad to hear that they decided to turn into a poseable figure, so that's really nice. This large section of armour, got that all over the figure. It's traditional samurai style. Got like old cloth, just really weathered and frayed and stained. It looks really old and gives it that vintage authentic look got some killer gauntlets here just look at the detail even on that and you've got a sort of new type of um, wrist gauntlet these can all move individually you can flick right back and get put away like that I'm just going to leave mine down sort of spread out like that 
Looks like he's just on off the his kill after he's done it. Also got that strap around the waist. You got this little bit hanging here which shows you like a collection or trophies of alien tongues or inner jaw pieces. The amount of work that's gone to this is just astonishing. Even just all the parts in the armor that leads up to the plasma cannon, look at that. I'm so happy to finally have in the collection. Just felt like a, a very long time waiting. Also very relieved that the head's purple, which I mentioned earlier. Had a lot of fun putting it together. The joints are very stiff. You can move sort of in the knee here. Got a little bit of movement in the ankle, uh, in the arms. As you can see, I've been able to get the arm up to about 90 degrees. Doesn't go any further than that. And because he's such a big bulky guy, you can't really bend it too. I think that's pretty much as far up as the forearm goes as well. So yeah, just see if I can get these back on now. That's got it. Just look at that, even that looks cool just like that. So there's a couple of different ways you could do it. You could take the helmet off and just have that on. I think that looks pretty cool as well. We'll leave the top off. But for me, I'm just going to leave it on for the time being until I decide maybe to change my mind later. I'm not sure if that's on properly. There you go. But overall, if you're contemplating getting this figure, I know it's a lot of money for a figure, but um, it's just absolutely amazing. It is a very good centerpiece. Uh, we say that a lot, but this has just gone above those other centerpieces which I've mentioned in previous reviews. Um, really stands out. A lot of people that have seen this since I've got it, just amazed at it, and then just telling me hands down that's the best figure I've got. So if you're contemplating getting it, I'd do it now. It's obviously the first of a series, but um, I think it's proving pretty popular. A lot of people are starting to get it and are in actual absolute awe of it. And um, it's interesting to see if they continue the Predator in this concept series or they move on to something else. But it'd be interesting to see what other things they could do with a Predator figure or concept Predator. I've heard rumors maybe a pirate or um, you know, some sort of cowboy, I don't, cowboy predator, I don't know how they'd go about doing that, but the samurai seems to fit pretty well. Let's have another look at the angle there. Alright guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed this review, uh, it's been a long one, but I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, thanks for watching once again, and um, good luck and happy hunting. See you guys.